So we'll start off by creating a random generator. So dim gen as new random. Now we will just declare attack number as integer and we'll set it equal to gen dot next and we'll have a max value of four so it will give us possible values or no let's do a max value of three so it will give us the possible values of zero one and two so we'll just go ahead and do a select case so select case attack num and we'll just do case zero so if he punches what do we want to do well we want to do enemy health minus equals and let's say or let's do five so now let's come up here and we'll create a variable so public and we'll just call it has spinach as boolean and we'll go ahead and set it equal to false to begin with so we'll go ahead and we'll use an if statement so if has spinach then what do we want to do well we, we want to double the damage so if he has the spinach then we'll go ahead and then do minus equals five times two so it will subtract ten so let's go ahead and cut this right here and if we use if has spinach that will run if it's true because if you're testing to see if something's true you don't have to put equals true so then if it equals false then we'll just go ahead and take away five now we'll do this for each of the possible uh, values so case one if has spinach then enemy health minus equals and we will do for a kick let's do eight times two or it will do ten times two and then if he doesn't then enemy health minus equals ten and then for the last attack case two the anchor throw um, if has spinach then enemy health minus equals 15 times 2 and then if he doesn't then enemy health minus equals 15 now in order for, uh, for us to be able to get that enemy health and set it we're going to have to come over to our enemy class which all of our other enemies inherit from and we're going to have to make health a read and write property so under our get and end get we will do type set and it will fill by val value as integer and what we want to do is type int health equals value so now that they now they can set the health of the enemy and we can use that inside of this attack so let's go ahead we'll come over here to our form one dot vb design and let's just shrink the attack button down a little bit so we'll make it say that big and let's come over here come over here to our toolbox and we'll add a radio button so we will line it up here with our button and we will set the text to use spinach but first we'll set the name to radio spinach and we'll set the text to use spinach and now let's go ahead and add a label and we'll just let's move everything down a little bit here so we'll set the name to label spinach 
left and we will set the text to spinach left and then three so the user will be able to use the spinach a total of three times now they won't know what attack this is going to use it on because it's generated randomly so let's go ahead and resize everything so now what we need to do is come into form1.vb and let's create an object of Popeye so private um, let's just call him hero as new Popeye so now that we've created that let's go ahead and use him when he attacks so we'll come over here to form1.vb we will double click on attack and what we want to do is check to see if they have selected use spinach so we will come up here and we will create a variable so private int spinach as integer and we'll set it equal to three so if radio spinach dot checked equals true then we'll go ahead and set the has spinach equal to true so hero dot has spinach equals true so now that now that it is true we will just go ahead and attack so hero dot attack and what we want to do is access the health of the enemy so we'll type current enemy dot health so after he attacks what we want to do is set has spinach back to false so hero dot has spinach equals false now we also want to see how many of these they have left so if this is checked if this checked equals true and if int spinach is greater than zero so int spinach is greater than zero then we will set that equal to true and then int spinach minus equals one so we just take one away from it and so when we attack the enemy what we want to do is, is update the um, the health bar so we'll type progress bar enemy dot value equals current enemy dot health so let's go ahead and run this and see what happens okay so you can see that it spawned the enemy and it has full health health and what we need to do is set the full health bar when the form one loads but for now we'll just ignore that so if we check use spinach and click attack you can see that it takes some health off the enemy and we can attack again and again until the enemy is dead and then what we can do is check to see if the enemy has no values left in the progress bar and then we will show a message box saying that you have won so we'll go ahead and stop this and so put, go ahead and put this code in if you already haven't uh, if you haven't already I mean and once you do that go ahead and move on to the, on to the next tutorial where we will be working more on this game